Kathy McDonald brings the field to the post for tonight's 10th and final. Super effect and exact the wagering one. Surf Fuller, owned by Charles Taylor, driven by Randy Tharps. Two is KG's Gravitate, owned by Tom Lovely, with a late driver change to Jeff Fout. Three is Baker's Legacy, owned by driver Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock. Four, if only I could, owned by Sam Coben with David Miller aboard. Five is SF Satellite, owned by Sean Barker, late driver change to Brad Hanners. Six, Capable Leader, owned by Charlie Dillinger with Ryan Holton. Number seven is Clearwater Clint, owned by driver Phil Cunningham, Dwight Clark, and Clement Rothell. Number eight is Come On BJ, owned by John Perrin with Jack Daly. Nine, Rick and Dick, owned by Rhonda Stidham and Linda May with Rocky Stidham, 10 Pro Piteous Lad. Owned by Fred Schroeder, Charlie Conrad will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's 10th race. Post time in six minutes. Superfecta and exacta. One more time, Jeff Fout drives the two. Brad Hanners, the five, six minutes till Pope. Starting gate is underway. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Baker's legacy takes the lead. There goes Clearwater Clint driving up on the far outside. They're down the back stretch. Here comes, if only I could, in the third. SF Satellite in full orbit fourth. Quickly driving up on the outside from the second tier. Propitious lad to fifth. Next in line, KG's Gravitate. Surf alert, wide to the outside. Rick and Dick as they move to the quarter mile pole. Capable leader and come on, BJ. They're really scrambling now by the opening quarter in 27 and three. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands. Being sent along, Baker's Legacy. Baker's Legacy, three parts of a length. SF Satellite moves up on the outside. Here comes Propitious Lad. Pocket sitter is, if only I could, in fourth. Around the clubhouse turn, Clearwater Clint. Nowhere to go for some of the favorites. KG's gravitate. Next in line, Surf Alert. He'll have to hang 10 from here. Driving up on the far outside, Rick and Dick. Come on, BJ. Capable leader is 10th on the outside. Reaching the halfway point, a sharp 57 and 1. They're down the back stretch. Baker's legacy leads the way by a length and a half. Cocked, locked, and ready to rock the favorite if only I could. SF Satellite holding on gamely. In between horses, Propitious Lad. Surf Alert's got a wall in front of him and not of waves and water, but horse flesh in 127 and 1. Moving around the far turn. Baker's Legacy is going to have to contend at any time with David Miller. And if only I could. Off the turn, in the stretch. They're on their way home. We got a Surf Alert. He just shook loose on the far outside, racing through the stretch. Surf alert from seventh to first right now. Gets the lead and draws clear and bids this field good night. It's going to be surf alert. KG's gravitate, SF satellite, and if only I could for. One surf alert and a very heady drive by Randy Tharps, the unofficial winner. Still waiting now for the other numbers to come up. Here's Surf Alert. 11-year-old Bay Gelding by Armbro Alert out of Sweet Surf. Owned in Pleasureville, Kentucky by Charles Taylor. Trained by Clint Binkley. Driven tonight by Randy Tharps. Covering them out here in 158 and 1-1. Surf Alert, the winner five in a row for Surf Alert. Number two, KG's Gravitate was second. Number five, SF Satellite was third. And number four, if only I could, fourth. The exact returns, $44.60, $44.60. Super effect, $1,077.60.